Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to fix a broken USB port. Um, this fix will only work if your port has been desoldered or is broken in the sense that when you put it in it sort of just moves around and there's nothing happening. So this video will show you how to open the controller and fix the USB port. What you will need is a Phillips, large Phillips screwdriver, a Phillips head. That is to open the back of the battery. That's the only time you will need that. You will need a Torx head, a T6 Torx, and a T8 Torx. And that is to open the internals <coughs> and the case to access the internals. Once you have entered the internals, you will need to resolder the broken or desoldered section of the USB port and you will need a soldering iron. Try to use a small tip and some soldering lead. Okay, so the first thing we will do is we will remove this rubber band. There will be some sticky tape or two side tape on this side of the USB port. You'll notice one Torx, this is a T6, one on the top, two on each side and two at the bottom. Okay, now that we've gotten access to that, what we will do is we will take off our little control knobs and we'll put them aside. This makes it easier to flip the controller upside down and not sit on the um, joysticks. Remove the battery, unplug. There's a little tab here, press in and pull. So you press and pull. T6 and that is for all these little screws. So I'll remove them. Okay, now that I've got everything off, um, you can use a guitar pick or if you have any of those plastic tools. You can use some plastic tools to open the rest of it up. So you just put in the gap and it's all clipped. We will remove the power which is here. I'm just going to do some flashlights so you can see what's happening. Okay, that's the power and that's our control ribbon from the joystick. So we'll remove these two little plugs. So what happens when we use the USB a lot? And I can understand if we, if we have accidents where we pull, um, say we pull on the cable too hard or we drop our phone or something or it falls off and it tugs on the cable, we move this back and forward and that in time um, that constant movement um, desolders or creates a dry joint where the solder detaches from the uh, contact pins so these are the four pins um, either one of them will become separated from the board and that is what causes your problems with connectivity if you've changed cables, changed phones, and you still can't connect through USB, I would strongly advise to check this. These need to be soldered in really nice. And this is your sort of grounding shield, but it also acts as a um, container or a cover for the entire USB port. And that is also soldered into the grounding. So what happens is this also breaks from the continuous, this breaks first. This breaks 
when this breaks from the continuous uh, motion uh, that the USB is uh, enduring during the use. So once that breaks, uh, you, you probably won't get a disconnection or you won't have any problems until later when you move it even more and then the, these pins start breaking off. So that is when you have a complete USB failure. This is very small, working with very small stuff, so you have to be very careful. And the next thing you'll do is solder both of them back. You can solder this and this. If it's not broken and it's just come through, you can open all of these and access it from the back. You can open all these screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven you can open them and take this off and you can solder the base from the back and get it back into position the tricky part is this one where you've got one two three four that is what you will need to solder back to the board and that is what will give you your connectivity back on your usb port if this port is completely broken off and there's no chance of using it with the pins all broken, you can order a replacement piece, not from Parrot because this is a generic uh, USB port. Uh, you can find it and order it and reinstall it. So there we go, that, that is how you fix your USB port. As always, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if uh, this helps you. And um, feel free to write in the comments if I forgot something to do in this, in this step or if you have any other suggestions to streamline this whole process of repairing your USB port. USB port. Of repairing your USB port. Until next time, fly safe and God bless.